our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Gracious, loving Father, we want to thank you for the gift of this day. We want to thank you for bringing us here together as a family. Thank you for what we have been doing here from yesterday till today. And as we prepare for this launch for Communications Network for Catholic Sisters in Kenya, we want to ask you for your spirit to guide us. Be with us. Be with all the programs that we are, we are going to have at this moment. You know why we are coming up with this initiative. We kindly ask you, dear Lord, may you be the one to guide each and every step that is going to take place as from today going forward. We want to bring before you all those who began this project. We thank you for the ideas that they had. And we believe and trust that all this is going to help to help us as sisters here in Kenya to continue with evangelization and transformation in the country and beyond. We continue praying for the many people whom we are going to meet as we progress with this initiative. We ask you that you, we may be the light to them, that through us, they may be able to find you in their daily activities and in their daily work that they do wherever they are. Be with our leaders, especially those who are already running this pro project. May you guide them and may your spirit be with them. And may all that we learned throughout this period that you are here, we may be able to implement and put in practice. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. May we have the prayer together. Holy Spirit, you bless the first disciples with the power to spread God's love throughout the world. Give us a new power to proclaim your word through our own unique gifts and through the channels of clear communication. Make us willing to receive that word as it enters our daily lives. Bless all who use the talents in the field of communications. Guide those who send out the message and those who receive it, so that all people may come to know your truth and be renewed by your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All saints in heaven, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, Sister Jacinta, for leading us in a word of prayer. And thank you, each and every one of you, for making time to come and be with us. And to begin us off and to tell us why we are here and who are here, I take this opportunity to welcome Sister Michelle Njeri, uh, the CNCS Director, Communication Network for Catholic Sisters Director. Sister Michelle Njeri, please come forward and tell us who are here. Please clap for her as she comes. Thank you so much, Sister Njeri Karibu. Thank you, Sister. Representatives of the Conland and Hilton Foundation, dear sisters, friends, and collaborators, good afternoon. Thank you so much for coming. My name is Sister Michelle Njeri, the director of the Communication Network for the Catholic Sisters. I would want to introduce my colleague. Um, where is she? Please stand up. My colleague in office is Evelyn Wanjiru. The role of CNCS is to amplify 
sisters' voices by sharing their stories using various media platforms for evangelization and for tr social transformation. We are indeed grateful to our donor, Conrad and Hilton Foundation, represented here by Sister Jane Wakahiu, the Associate Vice President of Program Operation and Head of Catholic Sisters Initiative. Angelique Mutombo, who is a Senior Program Officer, Catholic Sisters Initiative Africa, and Sister Agnes Njeri, the Program Officer for Catholic Sisters Initiative in Africa. We thank you for your presence and for your great support. We are also honored to have our board present here, represented by Sister Josephine Kangogo, the chairperson, ASK, and CNCS. Sister Josephine, you can wave to us. Thank you. We also have Sister Pasilisa Namikoi, AOSK Executive Secretary, with us. Sister, kindly wave. We are privileged again today to have Madam Christine Goku, who is an Assistant Director, Training and Curriculum Development in the Media Council of Kenya. Christine, she's also representing the CEO, Media Council of Kenya. Thank you for honoring our invite. Um, represent, we have representatives, of course, from various media houses. You know, in media, we, you can't work alone. We have to network, we have to collaborate. We thank you for honoring our invite. We have Radio Maria team Nairobi. Where are you? Kindly wave, thank you so much. We have Radio Waumini, kindly wave. Thank you. We have the Seed Magazine. Consolata Media Center, Pascal. Yeah, thank you. We have the Loyola Media, represented here by Brother Elias Mukua, is around. We have, of course, our team, the Capuchin TV. We are grateful. Where are you? <laughs> we are grateful, and thank you for covering this event. Father Awero, the director, is with us also. Thank you. I would also want to acknowledge the rep representative from various organizations and sisters initiative here present. We look forward to collaborating with them. We have Chemi Chemi, Sister Lucian, kindly wave. We have Akweka, represented by Sister Brigitta, kindly wave. Thank you. We have Tangaza University College, of course, represented by our own sisters who are communicators. <laughs> Thank you, sisters. Kindly wave from Tangaza. Yeah, Brother Elias, Karibu, I see you. Welcome, Loyola Media. Thank you so much. And of course, we have the ASK. We have also Kasak, represented by Sister Elizabeth. Thank you, Sister, for coming. Sister Agnes. From yesterday, we had a training of 13 Sisters Communicators. These are journalists who are already trained as communicators from different congregations in Kenya. They are very important part of this. They are a great team. They are our collaborators. Sisters, communicators, kindly stand and wave. Those who are in for the training. Thank you so much, sisters, for owning this baby. We are also pleased to welcome all our friends, religious men and women, and all our supporters who are here today. Thank you for coming. For those also who are following us through Radio Maria and the Capuchin, thank you for following us virtually. We are grateful. Thank you all for honoring our invite. Together we can do more for the glory of God and for the service of humanity. Welcome all and let us celebrate together. Karibu sana. Thank you so much, Sister Michelle, our director. We give her a nice clap. Thank you. Uh, as Anna she has said, Akuna Anaeweza Kuji Kuji Kuna Mgongoni Lazima Tusaidiani, and that's why we have our co uh, communicators and other media stations that who have come to be with us here. Before we go to the next person to talk, I welcome the St. Vile Melodies. This is a group of young men who are using their voices to tell a story through music. And they are here all the way 
from Nakuru County, the latest city in town. Karibuni sana. <laughs> One, two. God is good. Tusalimiane, tusalimiane, tusalimiane. Angalia jirani yako muambia you are wonderful. Musalimia muambia you are wonderful. Umemusalimia? Shike mkono, shike mkono. Our next song, nitaomba kila mutu tuweza kusimama, tuimbe pamoja. Sindio? Yes. Did you get ready? Hata sisi tuko ready. Let us start. Kila mtu tusimame. Tuweza kupiga tu makofi. Hapo tu. Hapo tu. Na ikikushika sana hata unaweza kuja ufikio ni si ndio?
so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Sandy Vile Melodies. It is a real melody. Mungu wa bariki na sauti zenu. And now the next person to speak to us is Madam Christine Goku from Media Council of Kenya. Please let us give her a clap as she comes forward. Karibu, Madam Christine, please keep clapping. Please keep clapping. She's almost there. Karibu sana. Good afternoon. I feel very excited to be here. First, thank you very much, young men from Nakuru. Uh, that was really invigorating. I'm even much more excited to be in the presence of so many sisters. I have a, a bit of a story between myself and sisters. I went to a sister school for six years for six whole years, in my formative stage. And so I have a, a special place for them because the sisters that were with me, in charge of me, teaching me, they created something wonderful in me. And I want to always thank them for that which they gave me. Now for today, I am looking at CNS. I was actually reading about CNS um, and I realized there's CNS in other countries. And now is when we are coming up with ours, which is really exciting. When I think of the Bible, women are very prominent. If you are to start doing a register of women who prayed, they are there in the Old Testament, they are there in the New Testament. Think of Hannah, think of Esther, think of Deborah, think of Rahab, Mary, the mother of Jesus, our Savior. When you think about the resurrection, the first people who saw her, who saw Jesus after he resurrected, was a woman. That is significant. And so when I see that. Catholic sisters want to start an organization through which they will be doing ministry by themselves as women. I feel power. I feel strength. Women have special gifts that other people don't have. Women have special gifts. They have patience. They have confidence. They have understanding. I'm not saying others don't have love, don't have all of those, but ours is, I think, a notch higher than everyone else. If you think of the book of Acts, the book of Acts, the disciples, the apostles after Jesus had gone back to heaven, they always made sure that they went along with men and women. And women spoke, pronounced the gospel of Jesus Christ in those times of the Acts of the Apostles. They may not have been written about very much, but there are some that stand out. You know? Priscilla, along with her husband, they travel in the ministry when Paul was doing conversion of the Gentiles. Today, we live in a different time than the women in the Bible. But their examples can help us to be true missionaries, to give our part in the service of God. Women in Luke's gospel, in the gospel of Luke, women, they are a model for us that it means to respond rightly to Christ's call. They show us the pattern of Christian life. And for you, you have chosen that life of Christ, 100%. I want to commend you for thinking that you need to think about the gospel, communicating the gospel as one unit 
of Catholic sisters. The earliest Christians, especially the women, were involved in the church's worldwide mission. Today, women can and should be spreading the gospel, holding out the word of God to those who they meet every day. Men, women, children, people in leadership, people who are not in leadership, everyone that women meet deserves to hear the gospel from us as women. Women participate in the Great Commission by giving their resources. Like many of Jesus' female followers, many women today are and can be gospel patrons. We can give our possessions or even our time to the work of Christ, to the work of the mission. Like Priscilla, we can open our homes to ministry. You can open your hearts to ministry. Some of our friends are volunteers and give time to the work of the mission. And I'll say, we women have been called to be co-workers with Christ in spreading the good news of Christ's salvation and forgiveness of sin. In the world, they say that we women were given extra bonga time for talking because we talk a lot. When one man will say just one word and it is enough, we will say three sentences to say the same thing he said in one word. We can use that for the gospel of Jesus Christ. We can persuade those who are unbelievers to come to Christ because we will show love to them and bring them to us, bring them to our Christ, bring them to this salvation and help the kingdom of heaven grow. I pray and I wish you well as you start this CNS. Maybe at some point you may consider uh, sisters who are non, non sisters. See, I am a sister, but I'm not a sister. You may consider membership of Friends of CNS so that we can join you and be a part of this great mission that you are setting out to do. I am proud of you, and I feel very privileged to even have been sent to come and represent my boss. I wish you well, and may God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Madam Christine. You are talking to the right people. I know they will know what to do with that message. So uh, we are beneficiaries of what we did as sisters. Christine, Madam Christine has said she was in a Catholic uh, sister school. Conrad Hilton was in sister school. And now we are the beneficiaries. Maybe whatever we are doing here, will benefit somebody who will come to help us in future. Now, we are almost to do what brought us here, the launching of the communication network for Catholic sisters. But before we do that, I want to welcome in a special way Sister Josephine Kangogo, AOSK chairperson, and CNCS board chair, who will, after her speech, our guest... Uh, Sister Jane Wakahio. We clap for Sister Josephine as she comes forward. Karibu sana, Sister. God is good and all the time. I'm so delighted to be here this afternoon. I'm so happy to meet each and every one of you on this very, very beautiful 
and happy occasion. Before I give some few words, I would like to recognize the board of C, uh, CNCS. So uh, the board members who are present here, we have Sister Elizabeth Kingori. Could you stand, Sister? We wave and wave. We have Father Waweru as one of the board members. Father, wherever you are, we recognize you. We have Father Kaufa in absentia. I haven't seen him, but he's one of our board members. We have, uh, we have Sister Agnes Njeri as one of our board members. And lastly, we have Sister Pasilisa Namikoye. Yeah, this is the team that is helping us to shape this young network. And I value, we value your expertise, your availability to be able to scale up our work as CNCS. Dear sisters, friends, and collaborators, I stand before you today, my heart filled with gratitude as I witness the official launch of the commission, Communication Network for Catholic Sisters. I reiterate the importance of communication. Communication is the lifeblood of every progressive society and in everyday living. And not just communication, but the right information. There is an African proverb which says, the fact that a frog knots doesn't mean that it is, is in agreement. When we leave others to give our stories, we create a gap and sometimes a leeway to rumors because, of, because no one can express your experiences exactly the way you would. Rumors have been there even during the time of Jesus Christ on earth. I remember the episode of the resurrection when the disciples gave that witness that Christ had resurrected. The Pharisees who did not want to hear that gave a different information that go and tell them that, the disciples, that his disciples came to take his body. That is what it means when we don't express our own information as sisters. So this network, therefore, is very crucial for the work of sisters and the evangelization. I can imagine the revolution that this communication network is going to make. I have so much hope and faith that this platform will revitalize and strengthen the way we evangelize. There is something that caught my interest as I was reading some news. It was in BBC Africa I, which it says that it was investigating how a WhatsApp group helped to save more than 50 Malawian women trafficked to Oman to work in slave-like conditions. So this lady who was trafficked to Oman managed to send a message uh, in Facebook, and someone in the U.S., uh, got to know about it, and he used a WhatsApp network to be able to save these 50 unfortunate ladies who went to Oman looking for green pastures. And this episode actually featured on 17th of March, 2024. This is only one example, but you can imagine many of our people who are being trafficked to Asia uh, to work under very deplorable conditions. That is why I'm saying that we really depend on this communication to be able to spread the word and even advocate for those who cannot advocate for themselves. Sisters, we trust you, especially those who are here for the training. We hope and it is our prayer that you're going to nurture this communication net network we are a formidable team, 
and we can do so, we can do so much through communication and be able to reach out and touch the lives of many as our call to religious life invites, invites us to. Therefore, I extend my heartfelt appreciation to Hilton Foundation for their support and commitment to the initiatives of Sisters in Africa. We really appreciate you, Sister Jane Wakayu, the Associate Vice President of Program Operations and Head of Catholic Sisters for your noble ideas that you normally share with us. We appreciate you, Angelique Mutombo, Senior Program Officer, Catholic Sisters Initiative Africa. We appreciate you, Sister Agnes Njeri, the Program Officer for Catholic Sisters Initiative in Africa. Really, you've given us great support and we really thank Hilton Foundation for you and for what you are doing for sisters. As the Association of Sisterhoods of Kenya, AOSK, we are deeply grateful for your partnership and your trust in the work of Catholic sisters. Through your support, we have witnessed sisters transform uh, lives. Your belief in us is being reaffirmed again by your support in funding this communication network for Catholic sisters. It is a network that will support other existing networks that we have, for example, Sarah Africa, Health, uh, Care for the Elderly Sisters, and all those networks who are funded by Hilton Foundation, because together there is something that we can do and learn from one another. This network will amplify sisters' voices, allow sisters to share their stories, and highlight the impactful work they are doing across Kenya. It will be a communication with added value in the sense that it will not be communication for its own sake, but shall contain the values that we hold dear as religious sisters while articulating our dedication and love for society, the society God has called us to, share, to serve. Catholic sisters are actively engaged in creating social change, whether in education, healthcare, or other community services. They are making a significant impact by transforming and touching lives. Through this network, the apostolates of Catholic sisters in Kenya will be promoted through increased media visibility. The launch of this communications network is not just about technology or media, it is about creating a space where our voices can be heard, where our stories can inspire, and where our collective efforts can lead to meaningful change. Having said this, um, I once again want to appreciate uh, Madam Christine, I want to appreciate all those from different media houses, thank you for coming. Thank you for teaming up with us. And with these few words, I want to invite Jane Wakayu uh, to come so that we launch. And then after the launching, Sister Jane will give us a speech. So Sister Jane, let's uh, clap for her as she comes forward. And Sister Michelle, could you also be somewhere close by to give us directions as to what needs to be done? Thank you so much. A network of Catholic sisters directed by or guided by Sister Jane Wakayo and Sister 
Josephine Kangogo. In count of five, we shall be launching our network. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Shangwe. Shangwe na vigele gele. Thank you. Walk with my coffee. Walk with my coffee. Oh, yes. And if you get your Oh yes. Hey, you'll call me back here. Yes. Congratulations, Communications Network for Catholic Sisters here in Kenya. <laughs> the mission is to promote apostolate of Catholic Sisters through media visibility for evangelization and social transformation. The vision is to be a dynamic network of empowered Catholic sisters evangelizing through stories of social transformation. And the core values are prayer, integrity, accountability, respect and diversity, networking and partnership. How about the motto? Evangelizing through social communication. Always. Thank you, thank you very much. We can take our seats, please. We can take our seat as we... So we give a clap to Sister Jane as she comes to give us some few words. Welcome, Sister Jane. Good afternoon. So all protocols observed, and I'm filled, filled with gratitude. As we say, the longest journey begins with one step. And this was one step a few years ago when we dreamed of this particular Catholic Sisters Network for communicators here in Kenya. At our foundation, we have a mantra that says, dream big, think big, and act big. This was a thought, and it was a dream, and it could have stayed as a dream if we did not take the next step to begin thinking big. Without big, with several individuals, some of them here in this room, the AOSK leadership, Sister Josephine, Sister Pasiliza, but also Archbishop Martin Kifuva, whom we approached to make the first grant to begin this journey, and also Sister Agnes Lando. It has been a labor of love. Because we, with over 7,000 Catholic sisters here in Kenya, who are working in margins day in, day out. They have stories of faith, stories of hope, stories of courage, and stories of the voiceless that really need to be told with tenderness, compassion, and care. And they are the ones to take the pen and write those stories and they share those stories. Certainly, Christine, I agree with you. These stories cannot be told only from one lens. The stories have to be told from multiple lens, 
That's why you are in this room and many other media people who are engaged today. So that we can tell stories from the experiences of Catholic sisters, but also the communities they serve. Stories that not, do, not, do not dehumanize, but stories that elevate life. Stories that give hope. There is someone who says there is a danger of a single story. And the danger of a single story is a story you hear again and again told about you, yet you don't have a way of telling about your own side. The stories sometimes we see in our mainstream media, that stories that sometimes is they, they are not giving hope. We want also to bring some difference. Stories of evangelization through Jesus Christ, who is the greatest storyteller. Story written many, many years ago, and stories that we read today, stories of parables of hope, stories of healing, stories of education. And is that not what sisters do? Through their way of life and through service to the communities, they bring healing, bind the wounds, educate. And those stories sometimes, they are only told sometimes when a school performs well and no other time. Why did Conrad N. Hilton Foundation decide to fund to establish a communicators for Catholic sisters here in Kenya and so many other countries like Uganda, like Zambia, like Ghana? Hilton Foundation was established in 1944 by an avid entrepreneur, Mr. Conrad Hilton, who became very rich because of her hotel industry, establishing hotels across the globe. Mr. Hilton believed that charity is the supreme virtue. And he commissioned the foundation with a mission to love one another, for that is the whole law. Our fellow men and women deserve to be loved, never to be left to wander alone in poverty and darkness. And there are many of our people today who are wandering and living in poverty and darkness. And the mission of the foundation continues that word love in alleviating human suffering. And the Catholic sisters are key prayers in alleviating human suffering. And they utilize not only work, but also they utilize their heart of accompaniment and being with the, in the margins where the people are suffering most. And we felt that when we look at the mainstream media and when we look at what is happening globally, there is a lot of pain, conflict, challenges. And sometimes we only tell the stories of conflict, war, and challenges. But there is also good stories. Stories of success. Stories of love and stories of tenderness. Stories that humanize individuals and stories that elevate them to take their own space as agents of social change. That's what we would like to do. And we will not do this alone. We will work with other media agencies so that then we can tell this story of communion, stories of tenderness, stories of synodality, working together towards new life. So I'm so delighted to participate in this event today and to join all of you to celebrate this significant step, and to all those who dreamt and dreamt with me and dreamt with the Catholic Sisters Initiative at the Conrad N. Hilton Foundation, that this was possible to coalesce together and be the bridge of telling stories of hope. May God bless you and may God sustain you. <laughs> you know, at that beginning, uh, at the beginning, it was, I am building something new. Behold, I am building something new. Don't you perceive it? That is in Isaiah chapter 43. And sometimes when you are dreaming to begin something new, not everyone who can perceive or everyone who can believe in that particular idea. However, here, today we are celebrating because there are those who believed in that particular dream and join hands and we can celebrate that dream today. Thank you to all those who have written stories about Catholic sisters, those who have journeyed with, the, with our partners in telling those stories of hope. 
I am going to end with a quote I love most. It is a quote from the book of, uh, book of 2 Timothy. And it was written by Paul when he was addressing Timothy. He had said, grace be filled to you. I am reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother, Lois, and in your mother, Eunice. And I am persuaded now it lives on. Look at those women that Paul is talking about and addressing Timothy. We have women in our villages, women in our communities, women who have been matrons, who have walked through a hard journey, and their stories are not told. May we be the ones to give hope to those women and tell their story so that in future they can be saints and we can learn from them. May God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Sister Jen. When I grow up, I want to be like you. Growing up as a little sister, we have always admired you and what you are doing. May the good Lord keep giving you ideas and we are behind you to support. And because it is true, all those sisters communicators, please come forward and tell Sister Jen that we are equal to the task. The sisters have been in education sector. They have been in medical, doing great things. And please come forward and let her know that we are equal to the task. We are ready to tell the stories. Stories of success, stories of hope. And as they come, please DJ, give them a nice song. <laughs> yes, thank you very much.
God bless your intentions to tell it as it is. Thank you very much. And your masoja, wako tayari. They are ready for the work. Now we are going to cut the cake. The cake that symbolizes the sweetness of coming together as a group of sisters through the guidance and collaboration with Conrad Hilton. But before we do that, I understand there is a book that is to be presented to us by Sister Jane. You're welcome. Sister Michelle, please. AOSK board, sorry. AOSK board. Yes. Communication Network for Catholic Sisters board, sorry. Karibuni sana, Sister Josephine. Father Wawero. This book contains the will and testament of Mr. Hilton to support Catholic sisters worldwide. It also has excerpts of the letters Mr. Hilton wrote to sisters who had requested for support and funding, and he assured them he was going to support them, and he indeed did. So I want to give this to be the first book in the library of CNS. Thank you. Thank you. Sister Jane, please don't sit. Sister Jane, Sister Josephine, Sister Michelle, and Sister Adelaide, please come forward. You will help us to cut the cake. And to get, to get us through this is Sister Santrina Karibu and guide us on how to go about it. Karibu. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Can you imagine a celebration without a cake? Can you imagine a celebration without a cake? A celebration without a cake is just a meeting. A meeting, not a celebration. So we are very happy that we have a big cake. A cake that we cannot even finish, all of us in this room here. And the cake is a symbol of joy and sweetness of life. In the Bible, Ezekiel prophesied to the dry bones. So today, as we eat the cake, we are going to prophesy to the life, to the joy, to the good fortune, to the success of the communications network of Catholic Sisters Kenya. And the cake has our logo, for those who cannot see. Just imagine as I tell you what is here. It has our logo and it has the beautiful words, congratulations, communications network for Catholic sisters. Shangwe na vigelegele. Thank you. And so I will request those who are going to cut the cake, take the knife, but don't cut and Yeah, you take the knife, don't cut until I say do. Meanwhile, DJ, if you can prepare a cutter cake, if I say do, ugonge na nguvu. Are we ready? How about your balance? Kindly just stretch your hand. Okay, we raise the knife. We raise the knife. Five, four, Three, two, one, do.
communicators saying something. Please, I welcome you here again. Tell us who you are <laughs> and thank our donors for this privilege. If you are a sister communicator there, please come forward again. Today is our day to shine. <laughs> Karibuni. Nawaona wakija moja moja wanatembea kwa mwendo wa aste aste nami nawasubiria hapa mbele kwa sababu nipo tayari kuwa pa mikrofoni karibu sisi ambaye umefika useme jina karibu na, na lolote god is good and all the time i am Nekesa Oguba, a sister of Notre Dame de Namur. And for those who do not know us, actually the first uh, sister who started, uh, the first secretary general of AOSK was a sister of Notre Dame de Namur. Many of us know her as an American lady, but she belongs to Notre Dame de Namur. It has been a dream. I think since 2016, we've been uh, waking up, falling down, but there we are. This is the day that the Lord has made. Thank you for all who have contributed through our mother AOSK to make this day come to reality. We, no, we do not take it for granted, and we are here to work. We are ready to take on the responsibility to transform. Thank you. God is good and all the time. I'm called Sister Henriette Anne Owino, a member of the Franciscan Sisters of St. Anne, editor Rurugene online newsletter owned by the Catholic Diocese of Tombra, Yambio, found in South Sudan. It's a dream that we are together and we all know that coming together is a good thing and this will help us amplify our voices because Communication is a new thing in most of religious congregation. And most of sisters are not aware of what are you doing when you are in media. And by us coming together, then this will make them know that media is not a bad thing. Media is a good thing and there is a way. We can amplify what they are doing. We can write what they are doing for the people to know. And at the same time, it will make us not only that we know about the network of wires, but we can make the network of people through this. Thank you so much to those who have funded this, and thank you, Sister Jane. 
God is good. And all the time, if I were to be born again, I would be a nun and I would be a communicator. It has been a great, great, successful and challenging journey. But you feel so good when somebody tells you, Sister Ulionkia kwa radio. Na nilikuwa nimekaa sijaenda confession. That day you spoke passionately. Hiyo siku haikuisha na nilienda confession. What else would you want to hear? Those women that we touch, God uses us in a special way to touch people. And sincerely we have touched people and we really thank God. Sister Jane, we are very grateful. We feel so happy. The other day I saw you on social media and I just went and clicked and said, I like this good work. We are very happy for who you are. And you just look at you and just really admire you and what you are doing and the passion in which you work with. It also inspires us to work with that passion in what we are doing. God bless you together, Sister Agnes, and those who work around you. And we are happy. I don't know her name. I don't know. Angeline, thank you very much. We are happy for what you are doing, and we are also happy for what we do, and we really thank God, and we cannot thank God enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I've not said my congregation. When you see this one, <laughs> and so you are, they call us Nigerian sisters, but I'm a Kenyan, and I'm called, we are sisters of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, Mother of Christ. Thank you. God is good, and all the time. Uh, my name is Sister Gladys Mititi. Initially, I worked with the Capuchin TV for three years, and I impacted. I went to Kisi to assist on something of which I was called by the congregation. Currently, I'm working with the youths, and um, I'm bringing the stories of the youths to the limelight. Thank you. The congregation is the Sisters of the Blessed Virgin. Thank you. Hi, hi, Jesus. Hi, hi, Jesus. Ah, hi, hi, Jesus. Lord of Satan. Hi, hi, Jesus. <laughs> okay, God is good. And all the time. I'm called Sister Jacinta Antonette Okoth, a member of the Franciscan Sisters of St. Anna. Currently, I work with the Amesea. Amesea is an association of member Episcopal conferences in Eastern Africa, a body that uh, brings together nine countries but eight conferences and two affiliate countries so my main work is of course communication I write stories from across the region and publish them weekly like today it's Friday it's publication I'm here and my mind is like I also need to do publication for today otherwise I'm also very grateful for this day that uh, we are realizing this initiative that has been begun when we were in our training for today, uh, Brother Elias challenged us. Uh, he told us that our vision is uh, out of all that to evangelize through social, trans through social, through stories of social transformation. He told us that if we just stop at at uh, evangelization, then we may not bring any change because. Even just from, just from our look, we are already doing evangelization. From our daily works, even if you are not a communicator, you are doing communication. So the challenge was we have to go extra mile and bring that transformation in the society. And we promise that this is what we are going to do, didn't we? We promise. And so we are most grateful to Hilton Foundation for helping us to realize this. Thank you so much and may God bless you. Good evening, all of you. How are you? Thank you very much. And Sister Jacqueline Nanjala Mchuma from the Congregation of Sisters of St. Joseph of Mombasa. Abjamboni. Thank you very much. Sister Jane, I'm so grateful and I'm so glad for having had this opportunity to attend this kind of launching and conference 
for sure, I'm a great beneficiary of this project. And it's not, no, not only today, but I've been, I've been a beneficiary of Hilton Foundation, having had other trainings through Hilton Foundation. And so I'm so grateful to have, having been given another chance to benefit from this kind of project. I promise you, I'll cooperate and I'll do my best to bring up what is expected of me as a communicator. Thank you and be blessed. God is good and all the time. I'm Sister Mary Anyango Owoth, a daughter of Mary Help of Christians. We are commonly known as Salation Sisters of Don Bosco. I'm happy to be here for this launch and I want to thank all uh, our donors and everyone who has contributed to this. And uh, another thing that I would like to say is that we are here to take communication to another level. And I think we are going to do that since we come from different congregations. Uh, I am uh, in my congregation. I'm in charge of the communication at the level of our province. And our province is made up of Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania. So I truly believe that bringing our efforts together from different congregations that we are coming from, we are going to make this dream come true. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. To Salimiane Kwahewa. Bwana Asifiwe, the Lord has done so much for us and we are so grateful. Uh, Sister Anne, Nayeso, Andrew, from the Little Sisters of St. Joseph. I work at Tangaza University. By the way, we got our charter like two weeks ago. Simutupatia Makofi. And I know some of the people sitting here have participated a lot. And Sister Agnes can testify uh, that God has done so much. And apart from that, um, I'm also the program co coordinator in the Institute of Social Communication. And as I stand here, I'm so happy and grateful to God that the sisters who are our, our angels in the, in the journey have thought about us. And, and, and realize the dream today that we need to think of these sisters who have done communication and see what are they really doing. Are they just out there and getting lost? And for sure, sisters, we really want to appreciate you. Uh, through the, the Hilton Foundation, really you have done a great job. May God bless you. And as I stand here, I also uh, want to appreciate Tangaza University because it has brought almost three quarters of these people who have been standing here. So more party more coffee. And we are really proud of that, and we stand here uh, to promise you that we are going to do our best. And I can see MCK is here watching. Mm -hmm. So we believe that together we'll go far. God bless you. Thank you so much. The Lord is good, and all the time. My name is Mary Santrina Tumusime. I am a member of the Institute of the Blessed Virgin Mary, commonly known as the Loreto Sisters. I am the communications person. Ah, so you are our daughter. Wow. <laughs> I'll take the report home. <laughs> wow. Yeah, now I'm confused because I'm... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, my latest apostolate was at Loyola Center for Media and Communications. And also in our province, I am the communications person. Now, we always have a story to tell. And if we don't tell our story, someone else will tell the story. And we may, not, we may not like the way the story will be told. So the communications network for Catholic sisters, here we come to tell our story the way we would like it to be told. Thank you so much, our dear funders. May God bless you overwhelmingly. God is good and all the time. My name is Sister Christine Massivo from the Missionary Sisters of the Precious Blood. Today I'm so delighted to stand here once again after many, many years when I met Sister Jane, when I was still a young sister, I didn't know that I'll meet her again as an old sister, but I thank God. Because that means whatever we thought together that time when I was young, it is growing. And with this launching of the CNCS, I believe we are moving to greater heights. Sisters telling the stories of sisters and letting people know exactly what the sisters do. Because most of the people out there, they just think our work is to pray, sleep, wake up. 
pray, sleep, wake up. I have a testimony. The first time when uh, somebody saw me on camera, by then I was working at Capuchin TV. Father Waweru, hi. Yes, I was working with Father Waweru and others. When I was working at Capuchin TV, there is a time we went to Chemichemi Yauzima for a graduation and I was at, on the camera. I was also a cameraman. I'm still woman, not man. I'm still, but uh, somebody was so like, excuse me, sister, do you know what you're doing? I looked at him and I was like, he was a tall American guy. So I was like, yes, sir, thank you. And then he said, please, when you see it's challenging, call me, I'll help you out. You know, I just had to smile back. I understood because not most of the people in religious life are seen holding cameras. But with this, at least it will help people know that despite being a nurse, a doctor, a teacher, or whatever vocation, profession that people know, they'll get to know that. Also, sister can, sisters can be media people. So thank you so much, Sister Jane and your team for this initiative, and we believe we are go not going to let you down. We are going to greater heights. Currently, I'm working with the Loyola Center for Media and Communication. I stepped in in Santrina's shoe, at least not too big, but I'm trying to fit in. And uh, you are most welcome to know more about what we are doing there through CNCS. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sister Winnie Mutuku. I belong to the Congregation of the Daughters of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul. Um, in the past, I've been working in telling the stories of the poor people in the project where I've been working. And um, for now, I'm working in our development office as a um, data protection officer. Uh, but I'm also um, working in and in and with our communication office, so nearly supporting the office and um, editing some of the stories and programs that they are sending out there. So um, in connection with them um, telling our stories and most especially the stories of the poor people, maybe not likely the same like in the past because I was so much closely with the needy people but now I have to modify or innovate ways of being able to tell the stories of the poor people. I want to challenge ourselves, sisters, most especially our sisters in the communication. Um, let us try to tell the stories of people who are in need, people who need our support. You never know what change or what difference you're going to make in the life of that person. So I just want to tell ourselves if we can really try and tell the stories of people who have no voice, somebody who is looking for somebody to speak for them, that will make a difference in our world today. I'd like to thank uh, Conrad Eaton um, Foundation for this support and for many other support that we are getting through Eaton Foundation. Thank you very much. God bless you. Sister Win, I want to I want you to tell us <laughs> she won an award out of the stories that she told. She doesn't want to say it, but I want Miss Ina Kinyongo Nataka to uambie what the state recognized the work you did. Please use the correct title <laughs> of what you won. I, I <laughs> sorry. I honestly Maybe I don't even know the title because I did not follow up. I am not very good at these things. Um, but yes, I acknowledge the, the award. I only remember it. I have to check out when, I have, when I'm being asked to write and use the title about it. But I really don't follow because I, I wasn't too much about I, I know. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you. She's a humble sister. Thank you, sister. God bless you. And lastly... My name is Sister Esther Moturi. I work at Captain TV and my director is here for the Waero. Thank you for the opportunity you have given me and what I'm doing there. I'm trying to tell the stories of the religious men and women 
uh, through a program called Missions of Hope. And uh, I want to thank Conrad Hilton. They have not only helped me in communication, but they, they also enabled me to study. By the time you are thinking about this, I think I was a teacher <laughs> heading a school somewhere but not fulfilled. I told the sisters yesterday, I went all the ranks of teaching, from the matron, to the teacher, to the deputy head teacher, to the head teacher, but my heart was not yet fulfilled because growing up, nilitaka kusomea watu tarifa ya abari. And I thank God that uh, I am here, and today, through Captain TV, I am able to tell the little that I can tell. Thank you very much. May God bless you. So, we are coming to the end of our program. And now I invite Sister Anne Nayeso for the vote of thanks. Karibu Sister Anne, my program leader at Tangaza, <laughs> my teacher. <laughs> Karibu, Kumbike Makofi, Anapokuta. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Esther. And I stand here, I like to quote someone or a community in Kenya that said, um, if you don't say thank you, you are a witch. Hmm? Can you identify the community? Are you able to identify that particular tribe? If you don't, let me remind you, these are the kisses. If you don't say thank you, you are a witch. For us, we don't want to fail to say thank you. We don't want to be witches. And uh, I'm very happy to stand here to give a vote of thanks to people. I will ensure I have mentioned everyone. If possible, from the top to the bottom, from the middle to the low, and whatever that I'm able to, to, to do. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank God for the opportunity God has given us. First of all, for the gift of life, that we have it uh, at our fullest. Uh, I would like to really appreciate what God has been uh, to different organizations and different bodies, and also for the opportunity for the, S, uh, for the CNCS to manage to be here uh, today and to launch this particular body uh, that is for this, the, the network for the sisters. Uh, who are communicators. F Secondly, I would like really to thank uh, the Hilton Foundation for their support in the presence of Sister Jane uh, and, and her, her colleagues. We want really to appreciate you so much for enabling us to be here this evening and also to launch this particular network for the good of the people of Kenya and across uh, the globe. We truly appreciate. Please send our, our thanks to them. Makofi Kwa, the, the Hilton Foundation. Asante. I would like also to thank um, the OSK. Uh, these are our sisters. They have been there for us in many ways. And also they have been part and parcel to support this network. Sisters, representatives who are here, would like to thank you so, so much from Sister Josephine and the rest. May God bless you. We acknowledge you and we appreciate you. Makofi. I uh, would like also to thank so much Sister Michelle. Sister Michelle, you have challenged us uh, by accepting to take the mantle. I know you were approached and you said yes from your 
your heavy schedules, your different tasks, but you said, I'm going to take the mantle and walk. And for sure, we are so happy and very proud of you. You are a great woman. Mpigieni makofi. Uh, I also want to uh, acknowledge uh, the presence of MCK, uh, represented by Ma uh, sis uh, Christine. I'm calling her sister. Hmm? <laughs> by Christine, we want to acknowledge you and acknowledge MCK in general and the chair for the good work you are doing. Uh, I know you have supported even Tangaza University so much, and uh, you are here again to support this particular network. We understand you are the check and balance of these organizations, and we believe that we will work closely and ensure that we reach uh, as a wider, broad uh, audience as much as possible with your support. Tunakushukuru sana. Pia tunataka kushukuru a group of people who have done so much for us, the priests who have been taking us morning uh, masses, for sure they have done us a great job. They were preparing us spiritually to connect our day with the Lord because we can't fail to know that we are religious sisters and uh, we start with God. So we want to appreciate the priests who have been uh, with us in the course of the three days. We also want to really, uh, apart from coffee, our priests, I know some of them are not, most of them are not here anyway. I uh, would like also to really acknowledge the, um, our uh, moderators, our speakers who have taught us so much. Uh, we want to recognize Mr. Kennedy. Is Mr. Kennedy here? He's not here. Uh, Mr. Kennedy took us through social management and we have learned a lot about uh, social uh, networking, um, using that uh, social media as a platform uh, for sharing information and also to ensure we do the right thing in terms of privacy and also in terms of security when it comes to cyber uh, protection. So we want to thank him so much. We also want to appreciate um, Dr. Elias Mokua. I know he's here, let's clap for him. Thank you so much, brother. You have done us so good. Today you took us through uh, matters of AI, the issues of artificial intelligence, which is a really a uh, present issue within the, the society, within the world, and so on. And as uh, uh, communicators and, and sisters, we've really, we really been empowered by matters of AI and how we can use it to benefit ourselves, to benefit the church, and to benefit our audience that we are going to reach with our network. So we truly appreciate uh, their, their good work. I will not forget to thank the media houses that are represented here. I might not mention all of them, but I know you are here, Radio Maria, Capuchin, Chiza, uh, uh, the Global Sisters, the Loyola, and, and, and so on and so forth. I want to tell you that you have done us proud to come and uh, accompany us in this process. We acknowledge you and we really thank you uh, for giving all your time to come and, and join us. To Apige Makofi, the media houses that are here. Um, I would like also to appreciate a lot uh, Saint, Saintville Melodies. Asante Nisana, you have really entertained us with good voices that the Lord has given you. You're also evangelizing eh, and transforming the world, so don't forget that you're part and parcel of this particular network. We also want to thank all the organizations that are represented here, different organizations of different kind. Probably we, have, we cannot mention you all, but you, you have been here to stand with us and also to guide us through this journey. We truly thank you and take our, our gratitude and appreciation to your body and your organization. We also want to thank um, the Radix Hotel uh, we have been here for sure for the last three days. Some of us are adding weight. Yeah? They have cooked for us so well. We, the place is clean. Uh, the, uh, our, our chefs are friendly and up to time in terms of taking care of our meals. So we like to appreciate them. To our coffee. May God bless you, bless the work that you are doing, and bless uh, their leadership and all those who are are uh, really involved. Um, I hope I've not forgotten anyone. And if I have, 
it's not intentional. Yeah? Uh, it's not intentional, but we truly uh, want to thank you all. Thank you, Evelyn. Evelyn is working very closely to, with Michelle to ensure that the programs have run smoothly. Evelyn Asante Sana, uh, you are a great woman, uh, a woman who is very organized, that you have supported Michelle so much. We truly appreciate you. <laughs> Last and not the least, we'd like to tell you as a person, you saw the media, we talk to a crowd of people or a team of people, but we always talk to an individual. And today we want to tell you as an individual seated here that we thank you. We appreciate you. Jipigie makofi. We appreciate you and we honor you. And we like also to tell the sisters, our, our elder sisters, our friend sisters, who are already showing us the way. Please, we need you. We need you. We need you in many ways. We need you intellectually. We need you spiritually. And we need you. What? Sisters who are doing communication. Emotionally, exactly. I mean, those areas are very important. Financially, yes. Yeah, because these days we go through mental issues. And so the aspect of emotionally is critical. So sometimes we are overwhelmed here and there. So we need someone to pat at our back and tell us, don't worry, all will be well. So may God bless you and keep you as you shine wherever you are. Soon you'll get our stories and you give us your comments. Asanteni. I, I've forgotten someone very important and she's here with me, uh, our MC of the day. She's a powerful woman. She needs to tell us which program she runs at Capchin. Uh, and again, she has done so much for us. She's a, she's a by the way, she's a, a, what do we call them? She's a very intelligent girl, very, very intelligent, uh, as well as a first-class person. Yeah? So when she stands here, I can testify as a lecturer and my student. God bless you, sister. Thank you, sister. And I'm humbled. My teacher, my program leader, I am because you are. So thank you very much. We clap also for Sister Anne for giving us the vote of thanks. We are really coming to the end, end end of our program and now what is next after prayers by father Wawero, we shall have group photos we shall have group photos sister michelle i will request you to come and direct us how to go about it uh, after the prayers by father Wawero. Let us welcome Father Wawero for the concluding prayer. We clap for him as he comes. Sister Josephine and all the uh, members of the AOSK top organ. On behalf of Capuchin TV, I appreciate the partnership you have had with the AOSK, as mentioned by some of those we have engaged directly in terms of uh, having them as employees and the two who we have had as interns. We hope this continues for the service of the church and the stories that you tell and we appreciate the stories we have told of especially the sisters, what they do and the work they do. Mine is a prayer, let us stand. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, God Almighty Father, we give thanks and glorify your name for the gift of faith, for the gift of vocation, for the gift of each one present here, and especially for the gift of the Association of Organization of Catholic Sisters here in Kenya, we give you thanks for the work they do, for your glory, for the transformation of, of the society and the service of the church here in Kenya and beyond. We give you thanks for this initiative and we ask you, Lord, that what you have started in them, you yourself may guide it through. 
bless their benefactors, their donors, and all those who support them, that this work may be guided by your Holy Spirit. We commend each of us here present and our communities and our ministries and all that we do. And we give you thanks above all through Mother Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless and protect us. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay, we invite the St. Vile Band to come and continue with the entertainment. Meanwhile, we'll be having group photos. We start the group photo, we'll, we'll be here. Group photo of the sisters, uh, communicators, and the Hilton Foundation team, then sisters communicate, then the Hilton Foundation team and the board, and then a, a group photo for all, and then Hilton Foundation staff and CNCS team. So you are welcome. Meanwhile, the St. Vile Melodies can continue with the entertainments. We'll take the photos here at the front. Yes. Yeah, sisters, communicators, and the Hilton Foundation. Then the board and the Hilton Foundation. Yes. We can Yeah, let's go and take the photos kindly. Hey, we're my 